Hello everyone from Senior Vitality. This is Janelle from Community Tech Network and welcome back to our channel. So today we're going to talk about Siri. So what is Siri? Siri is actually a form of artificial intelligence and it is a voice assistant that comes on your Apple devices. You do have to turn on the Siri setting in order for it to work. Otherwise, I think most devices have at least one of the options of working with Siri to be set as on automatically. And so, yes, there are different ways to activate Siri. So one way is to hold down the home button for just a few seconds, like two seconds, and Siri will come up on the screen. Otherwise, there is also a voice activated version. So you say the two magic words, hey and siri and then siri will come up on the screen ready to assist you that setting is something that needs to be turned on and you also need to follow the steps so that the device only recognizes your voice when trying to activate siri and so there's different things that siri can assist you with one of which is to answer any questions that you have. And Siri does its best to use something like Safari, you know, your, your internet browser in order to search up different answers for you. And Siri also uses anything else, any of the other apps that are on your iPad. Otherwise, any information that's not within these apps is not something she's able to answer. And so we're going to explore those different things. What, what can Siri help us with? All right. So first things first, we need to make sure that the settings are all set up so that we could activate Siri. And so let's first go into the settings app. And then from there, you're going to go down to the left hand side, pushing up the screen until you find Siri and search. Okay. So this is where you could turn on Siri or have Siri completely turned off. And so you have three options here. There are, there's more, but I'm only going to talk about the first three. Okay. So this first option, it says, listen for, Hey Siri, and you could choose to turn that on or off. This only works for this generation of iPad if it's plugged in. So that's why I have this cable here for today. Because this option, for some reason, I think just to save battery on these older devices, will only work if it's plugged into the wall. And this may be helpful if you do have a question that you need answered and your hands are full. You just have to make sure that your iPad's plugged in first in order for these magic words, hey and Siri, to work. Then the other option is to press home for Siri. So this one is the option where you hold down the home button for a few seconds and Siri will come up. So if you want that on, then you make sure it's green. And if you want that off, make sure it looks like that top one right there. And the last one is to allow Siri when locked. So when your screen is locked or when it's um, fully black, then Siri is not able to be activated. You can't say, hey, Siri, or, or even press the home button when this feature is turned off. But if it's on, then yes, you can activate Siri. And so it's up to you ultimately which of these settings you have on and which ones you have off. I am going to have them all on just so that I can properly teach you guys how to use Siri. Okay, so the first thing I'm actually going to show you guys is this first one. Listen for Hey Siri. I'm going to turn it on and the moment I do, my iPad is going to show me some prompts. It basically wants to recognize my voice and so it's going to ask me to say different things 
And I'm going to do my best to do different intonations of my voice so that it really gets it. And again, this option the, to say the magic words and activate Siri only works if it's plugged in. If you have an older or a newer, I should say, yeah, a newer Apple device, then it doesn't have to be plugged in in order for Hey Siri to work. Okay, but I think we all have the same iPads here in this class. So yes, it has to be plugged in for this to work. So I'm going to turn it on. And again, I'm going to follow the prompts. It says set up Hey Siri. This helps Siri recognize your voice when you say Hey Siri. Okay, so I'm going to hit continue and I'm going to say the prompts that show up on the screen. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, send a message. These are also good examples of the different things you can ask. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. And here's the last one. Hey Siri, play some music. Okay, so those were five questions that it asked you to say back and you just hit done. Okay, so now those magic words are set on. And now I've also had it set on so that I could press the home button and activate Siri. All right, so let's go back to the home page. And I'm going to show you some examples of the different things that you can ask Siri. But first, I just want to show you what it looks like when Siri is turned on. All right, so first I'm going to show you with the magic words. So I'm going to say the words and we'll see Siri come up and illuminate. Hey Siri. You see this here, she is listening to me. And as I talk, it kind of bubbles up and also records anything that I say up top. Hmm. Is there something else I can help with? No. Okay. <laughs> okay, so like I said, Siri is a voice assistant. And so Siri is trying to figure out how she can help. So that's why Siri listens to my voice. And I just say what it is that I want. Now, there are different things that you could ask Siri to do. So let's figure that out. Hey Siri, what can you help me with? So I asked that and actually Siri has different recommendations. Um, so let me ask that again. And I just want you guys to notice that I kind of wait for the beeps so that I know when it's my turn to talk. So first I wait for the initial beeping when Siri comes up. And then I speak and then there'll be some higher tones, some higher beeps um, that will come up. Hey Siri. That's the first tone. What can you help me with? And that's the last tone. Okay. And you'll also notice that along the bottom, Siri will also kind of show the waves and that's Another way to kind of have a visual cue of when to interact with her. So I'm going to ask again. Hey Siri, what can you help me with? Okay, so here are some of the things. Uh, so the first one is like you could ask Siri to help you video call someone on FaceTime. You could ask Siri to open up any apps that you have on the device. And sorry, I'm, I'm moving it because Siri likes to close right away. Um, message somebody. If you have set up Apple Pay, which I don't really recommend yet, um, then you could set it so that it sends it to someone in your contacts. Set up a meeting or a reminder on the calendar. Ask about what something means in another language or how to say something in another language. Ask about the about sports. So, like I said, Siri does use um, something like Safari, 
And so she, you could ask about the Giants. Did they win? What's the score? And and Siri would put up the the points that she finds on the internet. Um, look into photos, anything that you have labeled there in the photos. And, you know, she could help you find something specifically. And, yeah, there's all kinds of things here. Give directions. Play some music using the iTunes app. Remind me to call somebody. Email someone, right? So there's all of these different kinds of things that you could do with all of the apps. And, and you even see which apps Siri utilizes in order for it to work. Podcasts, books, Q&A. How many ounces are in a liter? <laughs> Really, you could try anything and just see what she says. If Siri's not able to answer, then Siri will let you know. So, again, Zoom, Twitter, Pinterest, these are all different apps that are on this iPad. And so Siri can work with it. Not everything, but again, Siri will let you know what it can or cannot answer. All right, so let's just test this out. Let's see if I want to ask Siri a question and see if she can answer. All right. So I could either say the magic words or I could tap this little icon that represents her here on the bottom. Okay, so let's try this one. I'm gonna tap here and there's that first tone. So I could speak now. Hey Siri, can you help me set a reminder for five o'clock today to turn on the oven? Done. And then shows right there today, 5 p.m., turn on the oven. And I, for some reason, I think I have it said in Spanish. So that's why it says recordatorio, not reminders. <laughs> All right. So let's try another one. Hey, Siri. How do you say help me in Spanish? In Spanish, help me is ayúdame. There you go. And that's correct. <laughs> All right. Let's try another one. And again, Siri closes out pretty quickly once Siri answers your question. So I'll try again with the voice activation. Hey, Siri. What is the weather right now? It appears to be clear right now with a temperature of 72 degrees. Okay. Uh, let's ask another random question. Um, hey, Siri. What is seven divided by three? Seven divided by three is about 2.3333. Let's ask another one. I'm, and I'm just showing you different examples here. So, hey Siri, what is a good replacement for eggs in a recipe? Okay, I found this on the web for what is a good replacement for eggs in a recipe. Check it out. And so from here, there's a list of different things that Siri has looked up using Safari, my internet browser. And I could tap on any one of these here to look it up. So for example, I could do this first one and it will automatically open up Safari for me. Um, and so like I said, Siri is also able to help you open up different things too. So uh, let's see. Hey Siri, open up the settings. And there, settings popped up. So I really encourage you guys to practice the different things that you could do with, with Siri. And again, that was all through the voice activation. So I didn't touch anything really, except for, you know, the one that showed up on the screen. But another way to do it is holding down your finger until Siri comes up on the screen and you hear that first tone. Okay, so let's try that. I'm gonna hold my finger down. And look, there Siri shows up and you heard that first tone, meaning she's listening to you. And also as you speak, the same wave bubbles come up there. So it's the same thing. And I, and I closed out Siri by tapping once here. You could always do that if Siri comes up on accident. <clears throat> so say I was just trying to, I don't know, I was exploring my photos, right? And then I wanted to go back home, but I accidentally held my finger there too long. Siri comes up, it's like, uh-oh, I don't want to activate her. So I just tap on the home button once for a quick second and she's gone. So that's a quick way to turn off Siri. 
All right, so let's try it now with pressing the home button and just asking one question. Let's see. Open the Maps app. And there. I'm going to press the home button. All right, so those are different things that you could do with Siri. Now, if by the end of working with Siri, you realize you don't want to use it, you could always go back into the settings to turn everything off. So go back to settings. And just where we were here on the left, Siri and search, you would turn these off. Turn off Siri, turn off Siri, and there. It's, it's as simple as that. It's just to toggle these off and then it will ask you for sure if you want to turn it off. And that's it. Okay, so that's all for Siri. Stay tuned for more on the iPad. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.